Lord knows I love customizing bone shakers. And this particular color and wheel combination on this one, and I actually have a few of these, <laughs> they're just begging for something to be done to them. They're so freaking ugly. The wheels obviously have to go. I mean, I, yeah, blue wheels or blue tires, excuse me. The paint job, yeah, the, the green probably wouldn't be bad, I guess, but the tampos are terrible. So a little while back, Rogue Syndicate Parts came out with a set of wheels they call Bago Bones. And the spokes for the wheel are bones. They're, they look like bones, <laughs> as you'll see here a little later. Um, Naturally, I had to get a set of those. I mean, you see them and you have to get them. So uh, got a set and I, I basically knew the direction I was going to go with this build. I just hadn't had a chance to get around to it. Uh, finally had the opportunity. And uh, <laughs> so naturally, this one goes to the stripper and starts getting worked on. Um, I've done... A hearse before, and as you saw from the title of this video, the, the, this design I'm calling the Mortician, for obvious reasons that you'll see coming up here. So, uh, you know, with bag of bones wheels and a label like the Mortician, yeah, I'm sure you know where we're going. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I did the usual, strip it down, take the wheels off, that kind of thing. There's the Rogue Syndicate parts wheels. Um, so I had to make custom axles for them and uh, just pinch the ends of, uh, I, I used very thin axle uh, wire to do this. I didn't need to use axle tubes or anything like that. Just pinch the ends and uh, made them so they could drop right in. Obviously that plastic base is not going to stay yellow either. Um, <laughs> so you saw earlier I stripped uh, that chrome center portion and uh, Sometimes I'm lazy on these and I don't drill out some of the parts, but there you see, I, I took my little drill set and drilled uh, those out. And then I drill out the exhausts. I drill, uh, I cleaned the eyeballs up <laughs> or the lack of eyeballs, the eye sockets out a little bit and uh, the headlights on the front. I clear all that out and, uh, got those taken care of. But then I did my own set of decals for this. And again, I'm trying to do the uh, white decals, did them on clear. And I do have uh, apparently quite a bit more learning to do because unfortunately there's a slight grayish cast behind these, uh, behind the lettering on the decals. But as you'll see, it, it it's not terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm, pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, but again, doing the white decals, not only is it expensive to get the toner, and I, like I mentioned earlier, there was a uh, less expensive toner that I found through eBay, uh, but it's tricky. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of tricky. I decided to hit the wheels with, uh, basically you're seeing it there, camo dark green, testers camo colors, I didn't want to go with just black because I wanted them to set out from the uh, tires. Took a toothpick and used Citadel Screaming Skull to paint the bones. That's, <laughs> that's tricky. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I painted the skull on the front of the, the uh, front of the bone shaker here with a combination of Citadel paints. One of them is called, and I'll try to pronounce this correctly, Ushabti Bone and Screaming Skull. That's the combination that you see there. I painted the eye sockets red. I painted the headlights white, but I did a little something different with those. Um, and then, you know, once I had all these basically painted, had to hit them all with null oil to give it a little more depth, a little more detail had to bring out the teeth and the skull. <laughs> then the null oil too gives the skull a more realistic appearance. 
it gives it that shading that every good skull should have. <laughs> I know a lot of people ditch the skull and I do have some builds planned where I do ditch the skull as well. But at the same time, it's fun having it there. <laughs> so, yep, that's a casket. I found a casket uh, SDL file online, so I was able to 3D print that. So, uh, got out the uh, Vallejo game color paints. Oh, and again, these are a lot like Citadel paints. You know, hit that with silver. And what I end up doing after I put the silver down is I go over the pattern on the casket with Sharpie gold paint pens, just lightly to bring out some of that detail. But I, I'm thinking the casket's looking pretty cool. Now, Micro Crystal Clear, you've seen me use it before to make windows but it's also used by model makers to uh, glue in windows on aircraft, that kind of thing. So I decided I was going to use it. It dries clear, that's what's nice about it. And again, it's kind of like white glue in a way. Uh, so I put that in those headlight sockets. And then over to the left, you might be able to see it. I decided I was gonna get fancy. <laughs> and. Uh, I was going to throw rhinestones in there. So yeah, there's real tiny little rhinestones. I got a set of those off Amazon, all different kinds of sizes. An ungodly number of the things that will last me a lifetime and probably last my daughters a lifetime and probably my grandkids a lifetime. But <laughs> I used two of them on this build. And it just, it makes the headlights look kind of cool. Gives it a little more flash in the front of it. I had thought about doing rhinestones for the red eyes as well. And then I thought, nah, not this time. So there you see, uh, I've installed the wheels. They just dropped in and, you know, then I CA glued just over the center sections just to really hold it in place. But it's time to throw it all together. I'm pretty happy with the coloring on this. I'm really happy that I painted the wheels that green because it does make them separate a little from the tires. I just didn't want it to all blend together and have the wheels just kind of disappear. So the only thing after I get this thing screwed together I still need to do is throw the casket on the back. What I end up doing on that is I, I made a small hole in the bottom of the casket so it fit on the top of that gas, basically the cap on the back of the fuel tank. And so uh, that gets glued down in place. And then I took some small lengths, a very small chain. Glued them only on one end. I didn't want to glue them on both ends. It I can move them around that way if I want. <laughs> uh, but went over the casket with those as if I'm using that to hold it in place. And so uh, here you see where we started again on the bone shaker and dear Lord, I... <laughs> words can't describe my feelings towards that coloring. Here's where I ended up. You can kind of see the gold on the casket back there too right now. Yep, this is the... Uh, the uh, mortician. And as you see the custom decal there on the side is for Spellman Mortuary. There you see the casket. The wheels, you know, again, those were kind of the basis for the build. That's, that's what uh, gave me the idea. And I took it and ran with it. <laughs> so I hope you like this build. Uh, Look at those rhinestones flicker in the light. I mean, that's kind of a nice touch. I really like that. I'm definitely going to be doing that again. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the train in the background. There's a train going by. Anyhow, hope you like this build. There's some glamour shots coming up. This was a blast to do. I, I had a lot of fun on this one. 
There you can see the green on the wheels a little bit better. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for all of your support. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, leave it a like. I'd also like to uh, thank my Patreon members for uh, all of their support through these builds. And uh, they have some seen some sneak previews of this already. But now they got to see the process of uh, what went into making this one. So thank you for all of your support. And uh, hope to catch all of you in the next one. Stay safe and healthy out there. See you soon.